Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to our video. Today, we're going to discuss another topic in pre-calculus. And that topic is the applications. The applications of the equations equations of lines previously in the last video we have discussed the concept of parallel and perpendicular lines now this will be a culminating video about lines before we head to the topic of conic sections and the, the next few chapters in our pre-calculus series Kumbaga, this is the culminating problem for this series sa lines, sa mga ano natin, sa discussion natin in the, the one-dimensional coordinate system hanggang doon sa parallel and perpendicular lines. Kumbaga, nasa finale na tayo ng season 1. Now, nagtataka ko pa laging red. Now, let's change the color back to blue. I'm not angry. It is 4.30 in the morning and I'm recording this video. Now, as a culminating, you know, activity let's answer this problem this is a proving problem prove that the points a 1 comma 2 b 4 comma negative 1 c 2 comma negative 2 and d negative 1 comma 1 are vertices of a parallelogram it seems like a very complicated problem but you're gonna see that it is quite basic if you know what you're doing ngayon pa natin gawin to Let's have a proof. Kasi kapag sinabi proving problem, kailangan ang sagot mo, hindi solution, it is a what we call a proof. Ngayon, we first, ito yung una natin atake dito, we first give a rough, rough sketch. We first give a rough sketch of the, of the quadrilateral of the quadrilateral formed formed by the by the points formed by the points A, B, C, and D. Diba? Kailangan mo natin gawin yung mga kailangan mo natin siya sketch What do I mean by sketch? Let's draw it. Let's draw the Cartesian plane right over here. Ayan, yan, di ba? Ito yung x, ito yung y axis, and let's continue this. Now, let's change the color to black. Una, ang kailangan, it is 1, 2. So, this is 1, 1, and 2. Ito yan. This is point A. 1, 2. Susunod. Yung, yung B naman, 4, negative 1. 2, 3, 4. This is 1, this is 2. This is 4. This is negative 1. So, ito yung susunod na point. 4, comma, negative 1. This is B. 4, comma, negative 1. Correct? Ngayon, C, 2, comma, negative 2. 2. Tapos, ito yung negative 2. So, ito yan. 2, comma, negative 2. Ito yung C. 2, comma, negative 2. Ngayon, finally, it's the negative 1, comma 1, negative 1, comma 1. So, ito yan. So, ito yung D, negative 1, comma 1. Ngayon, if we connect the dots, you're going to see that it somehow forms a parallelogram, indeed. Pero that is not enough, enough reason na porket tinrawing mo siya, makikita, nakiki, at nakikita mo na parallelogram like siya, edi parallelogram na agad siya. Hindi. Kailangan gamitin mo yung properties ng parallelogram. Now, naalala niyo ba ba yun? Siguro hindi na. Pero let's try to recall it. To show, to show that um, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram parallelogram I want you to recall recall from your high school your high school or junior high school geometry geometry that 
Ngayon, dahil fact to, kailangan natin palitan yung color. Let's change to color green. A quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram is a parallelogram if its its opposite opposite sides are parallel if its opposite sides are parallel and congruent congruent kailangan daw Napapansin nyo, meron ng concept ng parallel, di ba? Kailangan parallel daw and congruent para masabing parallelogram. Yan yung dalawang kondisyones. Makikita nyo? Ngayon, let's try to attempt to answer this. Let's go back to blue. Ngayon, thus, thus, if we take um, segment AD, Sino yun? Ito, di ba? AD. This is segment AD. And um, segment BC. Sino yun? Ito. We, we just need we just need to show to show that the following holds. The following holds. And in the following holds na yan. Let's have number one. Yung segment AD daw, kailangan parallel sa segment BC. Yan yung, yan yung opposite sides are parallel part. Yan yung parallel. Para masabing parallelogram yung quadrilateral mo. Number two, yung distance daw, nito, yung parang kumbaga measurement, kasi di ba kapag distance, it is a measurement nung segment is equal to the distance between BC. Ito yung part ng congruent. Congruent. If we manage to show number 1 and number 2 na nag-hold siya, kahit nakikita natin na parallelogram siya by drawing, this is indeed a parallelogram. Yun yung pinaka-summary na ito. Ngayon, let's attempt to show number 1 muna. Ngayon, show number 1 holds. Ngayon, paano natin yan mapapakita? Let's change the color to black. Ngayon, A. How do we show that two segments are parallel? Pakita natin na yung slope ng dalawang line na yan, kasi dito sa line eh, ay equal. Kapag napakita natin yung slope ng line AD and line BC or segment, di ba ito sa portion of a line lang din naman, kapag equal yung slopes nila, they are indeed parallel. Kaya siya tinawag na application ng mga previous topics. Ngayon, 1 comma 2 yung A, yung B natin, ano yung B? D is negative 1 comma 1. Ngayon, <coughs> kunin natin yung slope niyan. Paano ba yan? Di ba ganyan? May subscript para masabing siya yung slope ng segment AD or line AD. Gawin natin yung segment kasi di ba line, di naman siya line yan. Is equal to Y2 minus Y1, pangalawa minus yung una. 1 minus 2 all over x2 minus x1. x2 minus x1, negative 1 minus 1. So, magiging negative 1 all over negative 2 or 1 half. Yan si MAD. Ngayon, susunod, si B si naman. B, sino ba si B? 4 comma negative 1. Yung C ay 2 comma negative 2. Ngayon. Yung slope down ng BC, segment BC ay equal sa Y2 minus Y1, yung pangalawa minus yung una. ba All over X2 minus X1, yung pangalawa minus yung una. 2 minus 4. So, yung negative 2 plus 1 all over negative 2 or negative 1 over negative 2 is equal to positive 1 half. And alas, nakikita nyo, Therefore, yung slope daw ng AD ay equal sa slope ng BC. ba? Ibig sabihin nun, by the theorem, previous theorem, theorem 2, if I believe, yung segment AD is indeed parallel to segment BC. Yan yung conclusion nito.
which is equal to 1 half. Diba? Kapag equal daw yung slope mo, hindi parallel yung dalawang segments or portion of the line or lines. Ngayon, napakita na natin na go-hold yung number 1, parallel. Now, let's show the, cong the congruent part. Diba? Let's change the color to, I don't know, the maroon part. Ngayon. Pero let's change to blue muna kasi we have to write show show number 2 holds. How do we show this? Let's change to maroon. Okay. Ngayon, how do we show this? Copy na natin. A, 1, 2. D, negative 1, 1. Ngayon. Di ba sabi natin, we need to show that ito, itong notation na to ay nag-hold. Ano ba yan? Di ba yan yung distance? Distance formula ang gagamitin natin, guys. So, it is quite a long time ago since nakita natin yung distance formula. Pero bear with me. It is x2 minus x1 quantity squared. x2, negative 1, minus x1, ito, squared, plus y2 minus y1. 1 minus 2 quantity squared. Magiging square root of negative 2 squared plus negative 1 squared. Magiging square root of 4 plus 1 or square root of 5. Tama? Kailangan daw yung B na ano yan, 4 comma negative 1, C 2 comma negative 2. Kailangan daw yung distance nito ay square root of 5. Yun yung pinaka end point na goal natin. Ngayon, kailangan mapakita natin itong gitna ay maglilid sa negative, ay sa square root of 5. Kailangan yun na mapakita natin ngayon. Let's bear with me. Magiging square root of x2 minus x1, 2 minus 4 squared plus y2 minus y1, yung pangalawa minus yung una, negative 2 minus negative 1 squared. So, magiging square root of negative 2 squared plus, ito kasi yung portion na ito, magiging negative 2 plus 1. Diba? Tapos squared. Ano yan? Magiging negative 1 squared. E ano nakikita nyo? It is square root of 4 plus 1 or square root of 5. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, ano moral of the story? Let's go back to color blue. Therefore, Ano man sabi natin? Yung segment AD, yung, yung distance niyan, is equal to the segment BC. And we have conquered the part of the congruence. So, ibig sabihin, therefore, since AD, segment AD is parallel to segment BC, and the distance between AD is equal to the distance between BC, ibig sabihin, A, B, C, D is indeed a parallelogram. Parallelogram. And we put a box, tapos punoy natin siya ng ganito to indicate that this is the end of proof. Ngayon, i-zoom out natin to show that what we have proven in this problem, you can screenshot this. And that's the application of the equations of a line. We have used the concept of parallelism and the distance formula as a recall. I hope you learned something today. I hope that you have appreciated the first part of our discussion in pre-calculus about the equation of, of lines. And in the next video, we'll, we will be um, discussing the introduction to conic sections, in particular the circles. And till then, mathematicians, have a great day and God bless. Good night, mathematicians.